everyone, my name is Dr. Lisa Acantillo, and I'm on the platform with Zabralter Medical, a nonprofit organization dedicated to connecting Black scientists with communities of color. What is dermatology? Dermatology is a medical specialty that involves treatment of diseases of the skin, hair, and nails. It is also unique in that it involves a lot of surgery and procedures as well. How did you decide on dermatology as a career choice? I decided on dermatology as a career choice for many reasons. One was that I loved medicine, but I knew I wanted to be in a specialty that also involved a lot of surgery and hands-on procedures. Dermatology does just that. I also liked the idea of working in a specialty where bringing attention to differences in skin tone and skin color was an advantage instead of just an afterthought. What is the compensation for dermatologists in the nation? The compensation for dermatologists in the nation varies based on location, but on average, it is about $350,000. Of course, this depends on whether you work in academics or in private practice. What is the value of mentorship and how has it helped you? Mentorship is incredibly important in dermatology and it has helped me quite a bit in my journey to become a dermatologist. It is of vital importance to find someone who you connect with that shares similar interests with you and is willing to lift you up and bring you on to different research projects and community service projects so that you're able to get more involved in the field and really learn what dermatology is all about. Who is likely to succeed in your field? Someone who will succeed in the field of dermatology is someone who is hardworking, enjoys working with people, and is not afraid of a fast-paced environment. In dermatology, we see a lot of patients very quickly, so it is important to be able to run through a list of potential diagnoses in your head quite fast, explain them to patients in a way that's easy to understand, and have a nice personable demeanor as well. It is also important to be able to work with your hands as we do a lot of procedures and surgeries too. What is the percentage of underrepresented minorities in your specialty? The percentage of underrepresented minorities in my specialty has improved in recent years. In 2015, the number was about 3%, but there was a landmark study that published in 2019 that showed about 6 to 10% actually of dermatologists are now underrepresented minorities. This number continues to increase every year. Do you think we need more underrepresented minorities in your field? We certainly need more underrepresented minorities in the field of dermatology. There have been several studies, both informal interviews and published landmark journal articles that show patients prefer providers who look like them and come from similar backgrounds as them. For this reason, we definitely need more dermatologists of diverse backgrounds. Please share with the audience what a typical workday is like in your specialty. A typical workday for a dermatologist is very busy and involves a lot of patients and a lot of hands-on procedures. We see things like medical dermatology where we treat rashes and lumps and bumps, surgical dermatology where we remove things like skin cancers and different growths on parts of the body, and also cosmetic dermatology where we use things like Botox, fillers, and lasers to help enhance the aesthetics of our patients. What is your advice for those wondering if they can pursue a career in dermatology? My advice for someone wondering if they can pursue a career in dermatology is yes, of course you can. My first bit of advice is to seek out a mentor, someone already established in dermatology who can give you lots of advice about research projects, community service organizations, and other ways you can get involved and really know what the field of dermatology is like. Dermatologists are hardworking, people-loving, and always on the cutting edge of new technologies and research in the field of skin and surgery. I also know for a fact that as a specialty, we really care about mentorship and bringing others forward to be leaders in the field. You can do it. I believe in you. Please speak to the relevance of platforms like this and what your hope is for the future of dermatology. Platforms like Zabralter Medical are of the utmost importance in our society today. Fields like dermatology and other competitive specialties are notorious for being difficult to get into, but with Platforms like this, where there is a lot of added visibility and representation of underrepresented minorities, students can feel confident that they are able to pursue their dreams. My hope for the future is that more platforms like Zabralter Medical exist so that more outreach can be done and more students can pursue whatever medical specialty they desire.